Elaine Powell here on another series of Mind Speak. We're talking about your mindset and then we're talking about speaking the two together. Seriously powerful. So I thought I'd share with you something else about the audience because I hear a lot of my clients, they share things with me such as, what if the audience thinks I'm boring? Um, What if I forget? What if they don't think I'm credible and they, um, they think I'm stupid? All manner of things will come up for people around what they think the audience thinks about them. What is it you think the audience will think about you? And you can maybe even do it in conversations. When you're having conversations with people or you're in a meeting, what comes up inside your head about what do you think other people are thinking about you? I remember definitely in my 20s, I would have conversations with people and all the time I'd just be in my head having a conversation with myself about myself. Like, oh, I wonder what they think about me. Do they think I'm interesting? Do they think I'm stupid? Hmm, do they think I'm pretty? All the times I'd be thinking about what they would be thinking about me. And guess what? They're never thinking those things about you. Hey, they might very rarely, but majority of the time they're not. The audience aren't thinking those things that you're, you're boring or that you're incompetent. And with my clients, uh, an easy question I can ask them is, who's actually thinking that about you? And usually they'll go, ah, it's me. I'm thinking those things about, I said, yes, of course. It's it's what some people call mirror, other people I call reflection. Whatever's going on on the outside is just a reflection of what's going on in the inside what you're thinking about yourself. Trust me, I've said this before, the audience, they're not thinking about you. You are not their number one priority. Themselves is their number one priority. They'll spend 95% of the time thinking about themselves. That 5% is not spent thinking about you. So anytime you're thinking someone's thinking something about you, ask yourself, Hmm, is this something I'm actually thinking about myself? Because is it life showing me a mirror about what's going on internally inside of me? And that's super powerful because then you're going to be self-aware so that you can self-correct. And when that little nagging voice inside your head says whatever it says, you can just say, thank you for sharing. I acknowledge I'm thinking that way about myself and just create something else that you want to say about yourself or I like deep breathing and you can just come out of your head into your body or what we call change state. Do something different that distracts you. Go for a walk, go to the gym, whatever it might be. But know that just because you're thinking it about yourself doesn't mean it's true guys it really doesn't yeah your thoughts are real but what you necessarily think about yourself you just made that up so if you're going to make up anything make up something that serves you that has you grow and has you elevate yourself so i hope that's been helpful for you especially when you're presenting virtually and people are very passive they just sit back and go You think, "Mm." don't go inside your head. Don't have a conversation with yourself about what you think they're thinking about you. What they think about you is none of your business. It really isn't because it's got nothing to do with you. It's all got to do with them and how they perceive life, how they experience things, their opinions, their views. That's all to do with them. It's got nothing to do with you. So I hope that has helped you a lot so that when you're in a meeting or you're speaking to somebody, just don't go inside your head and have conversations about yourself. Listen, I'm tired about 
talking about myself <laughs> inside inside myself I'm like I've been doing this for too many years now <laughs> break time <laughs> So let me know in the comments below, what are you hearing for yourself? Has this been helpful? And just like everything, if you write it down so you can remember it, because if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. So until the next time, from myself, Elaine, I'll see you again another time. Take care.